Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to the Life of Excellence, New Life 313 Ministry, our midweek encouraging luncheon, feeding your soul. Amen. Amen. We're glad to be here. We are glad to be here. We're going to talk about some good things today, some things that are life-changing, and how to get your blessing immediately. That's I like that. Get your blessing. That's right. Because this is about you today. We're going to be talking about you today. We're going to be talking about how God's going to bless you. We were in West Tulsa last night, mm -hmm. had a great service with uh, Pastor Tony and Carolyn Rogers there at the Holy Ground Evangelistic Center. We were under the great gospel tent. Hallelujah. You know what? And the wind was blowing. Yeah. But it was like the Holy Spirit was moving around. It was an amazing time, and it was cool. It wasn't too hot. No, it, was it wasn't. In Perfect. fact, uh, uh, Pastor Tony Rogers said, man, last week it was so hot we were almost passing out here. <laughs> but last night it was very good, and the miracle power of God was flowing in that place. God's spirit and life was moving. And we're going to touch today on the, the messages that Connie and I shared last night. We're going to touch on that today because I feel that God is about to do something new quickly, just like that. I'm ready. Are you ready for something quickly? Oh, yeah. Or immediately? Uh, there it is. And that's right the whole now. question. Are you ready for it? See, everybody says, well, praise the Lord. I, I can't wait for God to do something. And then when God does it, it's like, what What just happened? What, <laughs> what was that about? And see, God may move in a way that he's never moved before in your life. Right. Now, inner time, inner time. I said inner time. Anytime during this, live program, text us, send in your prayer request. And we, we, we want to pray for you and we want to believe God with you. Amen. And that's the key right there to believe God with you. And I hope and pray that you're blessed. We're going to get right in the word. Uh, honey, lead us in prayer and, and then we'll get right into the word today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you and praise you, Lord, for this beautiful day that you've given us, God, the cool of the day. Hallelujah. Walk with us today, Lord. Let your spirit move. We turn this over to you, this time of fellowship, time of speaking, and Lord, quicken our hearts and our minds and the people watching and let them receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to talk to you today about a quick change in your life. Yes. Last night, we both felt led of the Lord to speak about some things. I'm going to start off, and then Connie's going to interject some of the thoughts the Lord gave her. But as you're watching this, or maybe you're viewing this at a later time in the archives, this message is relevant for any moment you're watching, because I believe God has a divine appointment for us. Yes. That's what we pray for every day, don't we? Every day, every day. And he gives it to and us. And he gives it to us. And and we pray for a divine appointment. So whenever you're viewing this, if you're viewing live or if you're watching in the archives, this message can give you your suddenly, but you've got to be ready for it. The word of God says in Genesis, the, the uh, first chapter and the third verse, I love this. It says, and God said, oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Let there be light and there was light light. Yes. Let there be light and there was light. And then I like what verse four says, and God saw the light and said, it is good. He mm -hmm. saw the light and said, it is good. Now you think to yourself, okay, well, I've heard that before, but have you really, really thought about what it says? God said, let there be light. Yes. Now, as we were preaching and praying last night, We've got to understand something. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. Wow. So when God said, let there be light, one, two, three, four, four words, let there be light. God's word traveled faster than the speed of light. That's amazing, isn't it? Is that amazing? What you said last night is light had to catch up with God's word. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, I said that last night? You said that. Oh, give me a high five. That was good. <laughs> light had to catch up with God's word. Amen. And you know what? That is key. And it's so unique because he said, let there be light. And that light had to catch up with the word let there be light. Even before the word light was spoken, Light had to catch up with the rest of the words. That's how quick God works. Amen. And then you begin to share something powerful last night and about immediately. Mm -hmm. What was it that you shared? Well, the Lord was giving me expectation. Oh, Expect yeah. a miracle. 
And see, we're ready to expect a miracle, but we want it. When do we want it? Immediately. Immediately. We want it right now. Well, there are some scriptures in the Word that says immediately the prayers were answered. Yes. And you can read it for yourself, but it's in Luke. It's in all the Gospels, but this particular one is in Luke 40 to 56. Powerful scriptures that talk about Jairus, the man that the daughter was dying and sick and went to Jesus and said, please come and heal my daughter. The yeah. woman with the issue of blood, 12 years. He, she interrupted Jesus going there. Yes. But it was her immediate time. It was her immediate time. And see, people were thronging. We know the story. They were thronging Jesus. They were touching him. They were, they were trying to get to him. And that's what she said is, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I would be made whole. And she touched it. And the Bible says immediately mm -hmm. she was healed. Immediately. immediately. Yeah. I love that. And Jerry is the same thing. When you go through there, they told they came to him and said, Don't bother the master. The daughter is dead. Your daughter is dead. There's no need. But Jesus said, Fear not, for I'm with you. Just believe. They got there. The people were in there weeping and mourning, and he threw them out. He said, She's not dead. She just sleeps. And they mocked him. And yeah. he touched her and said, Arise, little girl. And then she arose, and he said, Give her something to eat. It said, Immediately, immediately. she a row and see Amen. that's the key right both, there yes both scriptures when you were saying about the lady reaching out and touching Jesus she had this issue of blood for 12 years yes. she wasn't supposed to be touching anybody no she no, was no, supposed no. to be secluded and and Luke said she had spent all she had on physicians that's right but yeah. immediately when she touched the hem of his robe now some people say immediately when she touched the hem of his robe, this is a zit zit. It hangs on the air at end of a prayer shawl. Some believe that this is what she touched. Yes. Not just the hem, but this right here. Praise God. And, 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 and just imagine touching this as it's hanging off his prayer shawl. And as she did, the word of God says that immediately she knew. Yes. And Jesus knew it too. He knew it. He, he said, wait a minute, stop. Someone Virtue has just come out of me because yes. someone touched me. But isn't it a, a, a key? How did that woman know that issue of blood stopped? What happened within her to know? See, I believe when God speaks at 186,000 miles per second, we know something internally before we have the outward sign of it. I agree with that. But something inside of me says just being a woman and knowing what that's about the pain was gone. The weakness was gone. I think oh, that's good. The weakness her was gone. power was back. Her energy was back. And she knew she was made whole. But there's, again, expectation when you're expecting a miracle. Oh, yeah. And your faith, when they come together, that's when miracles happen. And she came expecting. And see, God, you've got to understand the reason God said, let there be light. And there was light. 186,000 miles per second. Ooh. Is because God moves in and out of time different than we do. Yes, you know, we live on a 24-hour time. You know, we have a microwave in there. Now, in Europe, uh, 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 and, and, and I guess some other parts of the world, they use a 24-hour clock, like military time. We use a 12-hour clock here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But our, uh, our, our, our microwave will say 24-hour or 12-hour. Now, me, I don't want to be going, honey, I, I need you to cook that roast at 0200 hours. No, I, I mean, I, I just, we are 12-hour. But that's our concept of time. Right. And and even 186,000 miles per second is our concept of time. That's right. But God moves in and out of time completely different than you and I do. Yes, he does. God moves. God is, 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 is infinite. We are finite. God is infinite. He yes. moves in and out of time. Hebrews says the Lord Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Right now, God has already seen your past. He's in your present, and he's already looking at your future. That's how quick God's going to turn things around. There are those of you watching today, you've been struggling. You were doing good. 
You were running well. Come on. But the enemy, because of the pandemic, because of all the silliness and the riots and the, 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 the sin of this world has slowed things down. And you thought, God, haven't we prayed? Haven't we given? Haven't we, God, done all we're supposed to do? Yeah. And God is saying, yes, I've already sent the suddenly. Boom, it's coming. And that's what you're feeling on the inside. You're feeling that answer is coming. God moves in and out of time completely different. Yes, he does. And when he does move, see, we've got to be ready. We've got yes. to have everything in place. Our faith has to be in place. Our expectation has to be in place. Yeah. And I want to tell you exactly what you were saying about the pandemic and the things that are happening in this world that are putting us in a place of what do we do now? What do we do but now? See, we're in a desperate place. Some of us are in, and some of you are in a desperate place where you need God to move. And see, he allows us to get in those desperate times yeah. to reach us, to be able to go, okay, now you cannot do this alone. Right. You need me, and here I am. And that's when you go, okay, God, I'm giving it all to you. My faith says you're going to help me, and I am expecting great things to happen and then you pray, and they do happen immediately. And God you, will touch your situation today. Today, and this is key. The Word of God says in the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, it says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not get weary, walk and not faint. We, we, if you've ever been in church long enough, you've heard that scripture, just wait on the Lord. And see, that's how we're taught. We're, wait upon the Lord. But God's not waiting. God's moving while we're waiting. See, the reason we have to wait is because God moves so fast, we can't keep up with him. That's right. It's just like light had to keep up with his words. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody's about to get 186,000 mile per second answer today. Praise Somebody's God. about, or, uh, as I was preaching last night, hallelujah, about this message, someone's about to get 186,000 mile per second miracle. It's going to hit you so hard. You're, somebody's going to get that job back that they've lost during this time, Praise and you're going to see an increase in finances. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. I speak the word, Pastor. Get ready. The finances are coming. Praise Pastor, God. get ready. The church is going to grow. Yes. Hallelujah. Business owner, get ready. Your, your, your business is going to turn around. There may be businesses to the right and to the left of you that are failing, but your business is going to turn around. You get a 186,000 mile per second miracle. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Man, that's good. It is wonderful. Keep preaching, brother. I love it. And I want to tell you this. You know, you may not even be during all of this. And, and I'll just say this, like our kids, we've got, we've got several kids, but a, a set of our children, they have wonderful jobs. They have the perfect living. Everything is good, but they are believing God for something supernatural to happen in their lives, something that only God can make happen. Yes. And we are believing with them. And yes. See, they're expecting, and we're expecting. And the faith, and our faith come together. They're yes, coming right. together. And when we agree, that's the thing, is find someone to agree with you in prayer for what you need. Plead the blood of Jesus over your situation and watch God move. He'll move at the speed of light. The twinkling look, of an eye. Well, Remember? you're you're jumping on my message I now. Know, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to that. it right now. <laughs> because even Paul in First Corinthians uh, 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 15, he even touched on this. He said, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. Now, when you hear that twinkling of an eye, it's not a wink. It's not a blink. It's quicker than that. It's like when light hits you and you flash off. Yeah. It's like when I look at my beautiful wife and her eyes sparkle. I'm just, I just like, uh, like that. And, 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 and it's that, that sparkle in her eyes. And you know what, though? I looked that up and, and I, I, I researched the twinkle of an eye. And one minister said something that's so powerful. He said, imagine 11 one hundredths of a second. I can't even think that fast. <laughs> no. 11 one hundredths of a second. That's how quick we're going to be changed from this mortal to immortality. That's how quick yeah. God works. See, we are in the time limits of waiting. Yes. But while we're waiting, God is moving 186. 
faster than 186,000 miles per second because his word speaks faster than light. He moves faster. He's in and out of time. He's past, present, and future. He's a God of all things, God of all people, God of all movements, and glory to God. I don't know what you need today, but quit sitting here and complaining while you're waiting. God's moving so fast, you can't see. It's like right now, God's moving so fast, me and you are like this. <laughs> or we might even be like this. That's how fast God's moving. Let me show you. That. That's how fast God's moving. That's good. Amen. That's and, good. But that's what the woman with the issue of blood. Yes. See, Jairus wanted Jesus to go to his house, mm -hmm. and that woman stopped it. That's right. And can you that's imagine? That's what he thought. Yeah, but can you imagine what he was feeling? It's like, you know what? Get to her later. Mine's more important. Please, Jesus, come <laughs> with me now. My baby is dying. Can, can you, you imagine? You know what? It, that And then when they said, don't trouble the master anymore, he could have turned around and said, you dumb woman, you did this. Yeah, Jesus, because, what are you doing? Because we react in the heat of the moment and we believe it's someone else's fault. See, we, we want to find the natural. We want yeah. to blame people in the natural when the supernatural Jesus is right there. And he said, fear not, I'm with you. Because Only believe. They work in a different time element than us. Yeah. Someone today that you're watching this, God has given you your 186,000 mile per second miracle. I Praise speak God. it over you. Yes. I feel the Holy Spirit right now. I feel that God is about to change some directions in my, oh, hallelujah. I feel this so strong. Yes. There are those of you watching. Last night, I tried to preach this message. Connie tried to preach her message, but the spirit was so strong, and we had to just keep moving through it, trying to get the word and trying to pray for people. See, beloved of God, people say today, the days of miracles are over. The, the, the days of healing are over. No, they're not. There, there, there's no, no scripture to back that up. Oh, they'll find some, though. I'm sure they will. But it says knowledge will cease. Knowledge hasn't ceased. No, knowledge has increased. Of course. See, uh, uh, prophecy has not ceased. Healings have not ceased because knowledge has not ceased. Knowledge has increased. And, 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 and even as fast as computers move today, they still can't move as fast as God. Ooh, isn't that a comfort? Isn't that a comfort? You know, Jesus said, my peace I leave with you, not oh, as peace of the world. Yes. The world is about technology and the fast pace of this and this. But like Jay said, they can't even compare no. to what God and how fast he is, what he can do. And how he can move in our situation. And then, you know, they talk about nanoseconds. And they talk about, but God moves completely different. Yeah. And, and you know, uh, we were just in uh, Roland, Oklahoma with uh, Pastor uh, Jake and Nikki Black. Man, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an awesome couple. Love oh, that couple. And, and they're, they're a powerful couple. And you know what? We started Sunday night at 6 o'clock. And we didn't get out of there till 9.30. Yeah, it was because the Spirit of God took over. Praise God. I mean, when I say it took over, people were praising God. People were getting healed. People were getting renewed. People were getting restored. Yes. And the Spirit of God was flowing. And guess what? Just about nearly everyone stayed till it was over. Some That's left right. early. Some of the older folk left early. And some who had to get their, their kids home. But most of them stayed. Why? They wanted to be in the presence of God. Yes. And see, that's why it says, wait upon the Lord. Let me show you how quick God works. Hosea 6, 2 says this. After two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will restore us. Hallelujah. Can you imagine having every bit of your, oh, hallelujah. Get your, your 186,000 mile per second. Here it comes. Financial blessing is yes. coming. Your 186,000 mile per second miracle is coming. Your 186,000 mile per second relationship healing. Your marriage is going to be restored. Your uh, husband, your wife's going to be saved. Your children are going to come back. 186 miles per second because God's going to speak it and it's going to happen. I don't yes. care what the devil is saying. The devil cannot speak and move as fast as God. God moves so fast it catches hell off guard. Woo, that's good. Say that again. Yeah, God moves so fast, it catches hell off guard. I love that. And see, we give too much place to the Ooh, devil. Yes, we do. And God is right there. He is omnipotent. Ooh, yes, he's he is. amazing. And you know what? All we have to do is trust that he's going to perform his word. Every promise 
we can count on. We don't have to guess if it's going to work this time or next time. Or Say that again. We can completely know that God is powerful, all-powerful, all-knowing, and He knows your situation. He yes, knows he does. what you're dealing with. He knows where you've been. You know, I love, last night we were, we were in this tent, and uh, this ministry helps men yeah. that are in need, that are homeless, that are coming out of prison, prison and out of rehab. You know what? He is doing a great work and he had some of these young men stand up and testify. And it was heart wrenching when you see what people have been through. This one young guy, he said, When I was behind that store homeless, I was still in need of God. And he didn't even know he needed God at the yeah. time. But he said somehow he got to Brother Tony's facility yes. and changed his life, turned his life to God. He's been clean for over three months. And he said if it weren't for that ministry right. and for God, he'd still be behind that store. Now think of all the homeless. If you live in a big city like we do in Tulsa, there are homeless everywhere. People need Jesus and they need a place to go. And you know what? This is just a bump for Brother Tony. He needs yeah. help. He, Holy Ground. Holy Ground Evangelistic Center. If you uh, if you want to yes. sponsor one of the men that live there. Praise and he, he In fact, he's believing God for a new building right now. Yes, he that is. will sleep, I think he said, uh, uh, six more. Uh, and, yes. and, and they've already donated some buildings to him. But, but love it of God, it's a suddenly. Yes. And that young man said something. He said, <laughs> I had to wait on my, my birth certificate to come in. And he said, and they said it may take up to six weeks. And he said it took five, all of five <laughs> weeks and six days, I think he said. And he said it was the longest wait. He said, but I got it and I got my CDL back and now I have a better job than I've ever had. See, in a Praise moment, God. all he did was within one week of getting that birth certificate, he was able to go back and produce and get his license, get his CDL renewed yes. and get a job. It happened that quick, but he had to wait almost six weeks. See, the six weeks was God, where are you? But God is saying you know what God was doing during that six weeks? What? God was already at the DMV. God was already at the trucking company. Right. God was already at the business. You God was it. already boom, 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 boom. I've already got everything in, in place. See, yeah. beloved of God, God's already got everything in place. That's how God is. God is moving so fast, 186,000 miles per second. Your God's word moves quicker than light. Amen. And God, we're sending the word right now. Stretch your hand right Praise now. God. God, that one right now that has been dealing, God, with that, that, that sickness. Is God. God, I speak yeah. it. That digestive problem is being healed right now. That, that that diaphragm right now where you've been having problems going down, hallelujah, through your esophagus down into your diaphragm is being healed right now. That one that has lost, hallelujah, so much finances since February of this year, I speak back to you triple what you've lost. I speak increase to you in the name of Jesus, 186,000 miles per second, God, send it to them. Lord, that one, that God may be like this young man who was God lost without you, strung out on drugs, God, living behind a store. God, we speak to this person right now that's viewing this. God, let them know you love them and God, you're forgiving them and changing their life right now at 186,000 miles per yes. second. Lord. Quicker than this broadcast hallelujah. is going forward. God, let it be done in the name of, oh, hallelujah. I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. I believe that those that have sent in prayer requests are going to be be healed in the name of Jesus. We want you to be a part of New Life Ministry. Amen. Man, I feel yes. the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We want to pray for you. We want to help you and encourage you. In fact, if you will contact us, we have a beautiful bottle of oil that we put together. If you would like to have a bottle of oil, the Word of God says if there's any sick among you, let them call for the elders of the church and let them pray the prayer of faith and yes. anoint with yes. oil. We want to send you a bottle of oil. All you have to do is write to us today, New Life 313-8177, South Harvard, number 303, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74137. Or, or you can call us today at 918-895-9551 or right where you're watching. If you're watching online, there at newlife313.life, go to the connect button yes. and request the bottle of oil and we want to send it to you. Also, as you, you are praying today, 
pray about supporting New Life 313 Ministries. In fact, we, we want to say thank you to our, our hero partners. Yes. We have hero partners who support us every single month, some so with $20, some with 100 and some with more. They support every month, and we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing without your support. If you'd like to become a hero partner today, just contact us, and we'll send you out the information about what a hero partner is about. Yes. And we're believing for 1,200 hero partners that will stand with this ministry every single month, aren't we? Amen. And you know what? Any amount helps us to reach the gospel, reach the people, to spread the word of God. Any amount, $10, $20, $30. But, but our hero partners God are those special workers that us. work hard for us and stand strong with us, don't they? Absolutely. We're excited about what the Lord is doing in your life. That's and we it. we know he's changing your situation. And please connect with us. Get on YouTube. Watch the video. Subscribe, subscribe. to our channel. And then also receive our e-letter from our uh, website that you're on right now. All you got to do is hit connect, sign up, and we'll send you a weekly word of encouragement. And they can also just right where you're at right now, text New Life 313 to the number 22828, yes. and it'll sign you up Amen. for our e-letter. You can text to give by texting New Life to 45888, and, and you can give that way. Give today and help us continue what we're doing here at New Life Ministries. You know, on behalf of all of our pastors and of all of our leaders here at New Life 313 Ministries, we want you to know we love and appreciate you. Amen. And we want you to be encouraged. Your miracle is coming at 186,000 miles per second, the speed of light. That's how quick God works. God wants to help you today. God wants to encourage you today. And God wants to strengthen you today. Yes, he does. Doesn't he? Man, he I feel does. this. And, today and it, is the day. That's woo! what Jay and I say every day. Yes. Today is the day. And today is your day to make a change, to believe, to expect that the goodness of God and the quickness of God Whoa. hears you, answers you, and will show up in your situation suddenly. Suddenly. Amen. And once again, thank you for donating today to New Life 313 Ministries. Thank you for becoming a, a hero partner. Thank you for letting us pray for you. Yes. Thank you for praying for this ministry. We love and appreciate you so much. You are a blessing yes, to New Life. Are. Now, we're going to pray a prayer. If you don't know Jesus... We want you to know him today. Yes. He loves you, friend. See, we live in a world that is being torn up. A man lost his life. It was sad what happened to that man. Yes, but the devil used it to bring evil out of people, to rob businesses, to hurt other people. But I have a word for you. What was meant for evil, God will turn to good. We pray for that family who lost their father, yes. their loved one. We pray even for those who through this evilness, hallelujah, used it as an excuse to destroy other lives. It's wrong. And we pray for all these that are struggling today. Friend, it may look out of control, but God's not out of control. Heavenly Father, we pray over every individual that is watching today. God, don't let them be afraid. Protect them. God, this one that lost their life, I pray for their family. I pray for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we take authority and dominion over this demonic spirit that has tried to manipulate people's minds. God, to hurt other businesses and to hurt people. And Lord, we thank you that God, you're already at the end of this and you're gonna bring good out of it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Friend, we're so glad that you joined us today. Didn't we have a good time? We had a good time and we can't wait to see you again next week. It's going to be a great time. We hope that you're blessed and encouraged. And we are New Life 313 Ministries. We want you to know that every day we work as hard as we can. Yes. Our, our pastors, Pastor Louise McConnell, Pastor Troy and Mary R. Ivy, our board members, work as hard as they can praying for this ministry so that we can continue to rebuild lives, restore hope, renew vision, and let you know you have purpose. Yes, you do. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.